there. Please. So this month we have an author who works full time, right? Not as an author. No, no, I realize that we <laughs> oh. work full time and oh, yeah. an author. Yeah. So we have an author who works full time and has published six books yeah. at the same time, which I think that is quite amazing. Uh, Doug Setter is a former paratrooper, uh, United Nations peacekeeper, marathon runner, and kicks kickboxing title holder. Um, he holds a Bachelor of Human Ecology and is an author of Stomach Flattening, One Less Victim, Reduce Your Alcohol Craving, Simple Secrets to Handle Your Alcohol Better, Students Edition, and a global award winning, winning novel, Celo? Celo. Celo. His system for overcoming writer's block has enabled him to write books, run for marathons, and advance from a C average high school student to a university graduate. He won the global e-book award for a teen literature, and I happen to know that he can dance. Because we've danced about well, like three years ago now. Has I guess so, yeah, yes. there you go. Yep. Doug dances better than I do. Uh, <laughs> please welcome Doug. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Melody. Thanks. Um, thank you very much. And thanks for having me. I was just talking to Cynthia prior to this, and she asked if I go into a bit of a story, and I, I, I was always writing short stories, and I went to creative writing, and I found out really quick, don't share whatever you feel, because people had different opinions, and I was told, no, this couldn't happen, even though it was true. And, and so one day, I, pro I was writing an article on dog attacks, and I went to see this dog trainer, this guy, Harold McCulloch, and he had pictures. He says, come here, I'll show you. I know a spy. I go, really? And he showed me a picture of Sean Connery with one of his dogs. And he trained Sonny and Cher, a dog for Sonny and Cher, and all these celebrities. So he was very good. So we co-authored the book. It took me almost two years. Then he drops a bomb on me. He says, oh, it's not going to sell. I'll pay you for your time. Thank you very much. So then I went overseas. I got a contract to go with the United Nations back in the former Yugoslavia. And I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. So I wrote every day and wrote about this, wrote about this. And then during the end, um, there was a battle that went on in the DAC where some Canadian soldiers were involved. We just had our 25th anniversary. And I was all over, and Carol Off from CBC came blowing into town out of nowhere, <laughs> did all the interviews, and she went, went back. She wrote this book called Ghost in the DAC and got her own talk show. Okay. So. I kind of missed out my, my book called Stay in the Hard Pack because you never walk off the pavement because there's so many mines around. So anyway, I kind of hummed and hawed, but there's times you walk in the bookstore and say, yeah, I can do this. So over the years, um, everything from hypnosis tapes to um, behavior changing to um, even some kind of offbeat psychic things, I, I finally got a system that helped me. and. I, f I find it gets faster and faster and faster, and now it's, once you've done it, it's like taking the plant, you're like, okay, this is gonna suck, but it's okay, it's a nice kind of suck. I'm like, you know, I kinda wish it would suck more, and you get involved. So I'll show you what I know. I hope it helps, helps you get over these humps that you're experiencing. So first of all, am I going too close? Oh well. <laughs> we'll talk about forms of writer's block, causes of writer's block, myths of writers and writing, and then I can give you my hardcore strategies. Don't worry, I can, I can send this to you later if you want to. Okay. Just ask, and by the way, anything you want me, I'll just email it to who's ever here. Okay. Okay? So this just makes it, so pay attention to what's going on. So forms of writer's block, you probably, maybe you can relate to this. Paralysis. You're staring at that screen and says, I can't do this. I can't. Why am I doing this? I should have gone into dentistry. What's wrong with me? You know? Avoidance behavior. I'm this, oh geez, you know what? I should I should go, I should dust off my bookshelf. <clears throat> oh, I better check what's going on in Facebook. Oh, you know what? And and before you know it, two hours are gone, right? And inability to prioritize writing. Do you have a system? And I like what, what Cynthia mentioned, you just Knuckle on the part of it and go from there. And, and I don't know if anyone's seen um, the movie Deliverance. I read about James Dickey wrote it, and he started one day. He was driving along, and he saw a guy climbing a cliff, and he wrote this this this, this book and a screenplay from there. Inability to finish. If I finish this, then it's over. You know, there's this weird and I. I my last book called Strength and Endurance Secrets. I just oh no, I can't. And finally, he said, "That's it. It's done." I'll just do the second edition and, and sell you more. And the last minute crisis, again, this is just, we'll talk about that too, all right? I, I see a few heads nodding, so maybe I'll, 
<laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so being writers, I hope you have something to write with. I apologize for not bringing. And I want you to try this. Just you don't have to share it because I found that to be deadly to me. But just answer this question if you could. And I'll give you one minute, thirty seconds. The reason I cannot write is, and just you don't have to, just just to get the thought flowing. And why not? <clears throat> And I'll talk with the deadly silence, but there's a few things I found. Um, you start convincing yourself, and you start you start getting these um, composite people. You look at writers and think, "My, oh, I can't look at that Stephen King. My gosh, how can I even walk in the same earth as that guy? I mean, he's so. I'm, who am I to? And we're good with that. Anyone get some, something? The reason I cannot write is. I'm too old. I'm too tired. Never saw El Pacino? I'm too effing blind. No? I saw one? No, it's awesome. <laughs> you saw it. It's great. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's a few. Borrow it if you want. Don't live by it. I'm afraid of waste, failing, wasting my life. I should be studying on that accounting and get a decent living. I might look dumb. I found that out in, in school, elementary school, right away. I'm not being paid. Why am I wasting my time? I'm going to be broke. My ideas are no good. It's too late. It takes a special talent, age, education, training, background. So we're going to start hacking away at these things, okay? Take them head on. Oh, here's another good one for you. Before I forget, I'll give you two minutes. A ah, minute, 90 seconds. So could you complete that for me? This is a book by Andrew Vax. I open the front page and he goes, I got a job to complete. I got to the job a couple hours early in this kind of work. Go ahead. I'll do it off the top of my head. Come on, I got to my job early. This kind of work. The only bird catches the worm. <laughs> if you don't show up, you're not going home. You know, just go ahead, think of it. In this kind of work. You, you don't just. Yeah, be ready to do anything. Or I'll miss the Russian spy, or my flower, my cake will fall, whatever. And this kind of work, you let your forehead bleed. Thank you. Hey, I like it. <coughs> let your forehead bleed. I already couldn't see it. it's running through my eyes. Why do you even come here? Blah. You can go just run with something. Anyone? Anyway, anyway, someone give me a line. Go ahead. Your favorite. Anyone? Anyone has a favorite? Go there ahead. There is no early. Sorry. There is no early. Thank you. There is no early. Okay, you got my attention, and then you go from there. My point being is, you can prove yourself right now in 30 seconds. Just fill that in. I don't see any pens flying. You <laughs> <laughs> told us to think in our heads. Yeah. Okay, either or. But yeah, you should be able to route, like right now, if you pay me $10 to fill it up, I'd be talking a mile a minute. I'd just be making stuff up. Look, I got the job a couple hours early. In this kind of work, the cookie's got to be done right. If I don't do it right, then the chef's angry. The chef's angry, then, then my employer's angry. And you know who the employer is? Da 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 da. You know? In this kind of work, I don't get paid overtime. I don't get paid overtime. You have fun with it, but you don't. Okay, so talk to real sources. And Cynthia touched on the second one, which is the death. We have procrastination, perfectionism, and the baggage train. And I'll show you what I've learned over the years to, to take out each one of these. Procrastination. It's the thing that stops us from getting, you know, running our own charity, um, getting a new job, getting a six pack, whatever. It's all these, and we all do it, I still do it. But every day is a, how many have read um, Stephen Pressfield? Seen the movie 300? Oh, gotta get out more often. Okay, he wrote Gates of, Gates, Gates of Fire. He wrote a lot of historical novels. He's a former Marine truck driver and he just finally hunkered down. And every day he talks of this, he calls it resistance. It just, he says, it's trying to kill me. Okay, all right, so you know, it'll be that succeed. But he says, every day it's trying to hold him back and it's usually the procrastination. Perfectionism. Perfectionism. Cynthia touched on that, okay? This is either the best selling book going, or I just wiped out half the forest for no reason. <clears throat> okay? 
This will either bring the literary, uh, the, the university creative writing professors to their knees, like on the, or I just might as well walk off a short pier, right? With how many? Uh, look at some of the books out there. Have you read some of these texts? Who, who's my textbook writer? I don't want to slag you. Okay, have you read some of the stuff they get published? My gosh. I, I'm beginning to. Uh, oh, it's it's interesting. Of like, yeah, I'm a designer, so I just have to make it really look good. Okay. And, and it is a lot of the, the text is is pretty elementary. And you it's, know, it's even painful. You know, has anyone read some of the, the uh, Ian Fleming books? You know who Ian Fleming is, right? Yes. Wrote James Bond series. Has anyone read those? They are dry. And I read an interview with him, and he goes, yeah, I just want to write really dry, cr and, and they are, my gosh, it's just, I read some short stories, and they are really boring. <laughs> and, yet, and yet, somehow, someone saw it and made these, this, this amazing movie themes out of them. But, oh my god, okay, get to the point. There's no, hardly any fighting, there's no, definitely no things. It's just, he goes in, he finds the double agent, and he arrests them, and he talks to them. I'm like, okay. No secret, no cool gadgets, nothing. It's just like, ah. So it's out there. Now, baggage train, we'll talk about that too. Again, it's these, this inner war that we have to fight. Here's a tool I used uh, breaking the mental block. Heard that? We're in Vancouver. You heard of affirmations? Yes? No? Okay. Who uses them? Jerry Mundus? Who, who wrote uh, Dilbert? Scott Adams. He uses them, but there's, I'll show you a trick, and it works, okay? For me, it worked. So you want to get your piece of paper, and we get about a two-third mark, all right? And you write your affirmation. So if I say, I, Doug, am a, I'm a best-selling writer, I'm, I know it's a lie. I mean, it could be. So I write something simpler. I, Doug, write easily and well. So I, Doug. Or I can say Douglas if I want. Write easily, or freely and easily. And freely, there's a word. I like it. Freely. Free, weren't we just talking about that? Freely? Now, right away, what pops in your head? Write it down quickly. In this case, I draw a blank. Now, repeat this five times in the first person. All right? And then I want to go to the second person. So you, Doug, write. Freely and easily, and I'll get what? I'll get something really weird. What? Are you on crack? <laughs> and you'll find, you'll suddenly, fi sorry, question? Are you just letting whatever comes to your you mind? You let it come. Just, just comes to your mind, you're writing it down. Let it come to your mind. Just let it come. And this is where, because I'll go like this, I'll do it, and then nothing, nothing. What the heck, you know? And next day I'll go, I dug right e freely and easily. I dug right easily, and they'll go, who? You? Like, oh, where'd that come from? I go, what the heck? Okay, let's try this some more. You dug right freely and easily five times, and then finally goes, Doug writes freely and easily, and he goes, well, maybe he does. You know, he, he wrote an article, and and um, Southwestern Women's Magazine liked it. So I guess maybe. And you'll, the thing is, you're looking for that reaction. You'll suddenly it'll pop up, and you go, "Oh, okay." You repeat it, and then you'll start clearing it. And I know this sounds kind of psychic, and I know it sounds, you know, something that. That mere therapy, but you don't. I find it starts it starts rising to the top. And I thought, well, why did I doubt myself? And then you start getting little inter internal dialogues with yourself. 